So this was a pretty extreme experiment and I was kind of expecting decent results but I wasn't expecting it to, and I'm genuinely not exaggerating when I say this, I wasn't expecting it to completely transform pretty much every area of my life. My energy levels have improved significantly, I'm really tired during the day, I'm losing belly fat, I'm gaining strength at the gym and I'm just feeling more alert and switched on throughout the day. All because for the first time in my life I completely removed sugar from my diet for 30 days. Not only that, I also removed all carbohydrates from my diet and drank 3 litres of water every day. Well let me explain how all this started. So since moving to Vietnam a couple of years ago, I've been having this problem where I go through this massive drop in energy at around 1 or 2 p.m. where I just feel exhausted. And I've been managing it fairly well, so usually I'll go for a 10 minute walk outside to get some fresh air or I'll go to the gym or I'll take a nap but those are kind of short-term fixes right they're not fixing the root of the problem because the bottom line is that a healthy person shouldn't really be feeling exhausted every afternoon right so I spent a fair few weeks researching and basically looking for the most experienced most qualified personal trainer I could find and long story short I was told basically that number one I wasn't drinking anywhere near enough water Number two, my food portions were far too big and that's why I often felt sluggish usually after eating. Number three, I was consuming far too much sugar. And number four, I was eating too many carbs. Literally about 60% of my calories were made up of carbohydrates simply because that's just the Asian diet. They eat rice and noodles with pretty much everything here. And back at home in the UK, we eat bread with pretty much everything. So I've always had a very carb heavy diet. And for 30 days, I very strictly cut sugar and carbs from my diet and drunk three liters of water a day. Charles Poliquin, who was a Canadian strength coach, and there's a whole chapter dedicated to him in Tim Ferriss's book, Tools of Titans. He's a very big advocate of cutting out all processed foods, all carbs. Basically, if it wasn't available to cavemen millions of years ago, then I shouldn't be eating it. If it doesn't fly, if it doesn't swim, if it doesn't run in the field, or if it's not green, don't eat it. Okay, until they get to the optimal body fat. That's the most simple way to explain nutrition. Mm. Uh, and then once they are lean, then they could add things like figs and dates and bananas. But yeah. until they lean, I don't, you know, I've got a reputation in the industry to get people lean very fast, but that's the way I do it. And so I was skeptical at first, but I thought, okay, it's just for 30 days, right? Let's go ahead and see what happens. But I'll be honest, it was actually easier than I thought. I thought that I'd have massive sugar cravings because I used to eat a lot of sugar. It's pretty much an addiction for most of us, right? And every meal, I'd usually have something sweet to eat, like a yogurt or fruit or some kind of dessert. And this is all sugar. I also thought maybe I'd be feeling extremely tired from the lack of carbs, but actually it was the complete opposite because instead of getting my carbs from foods like bread, pasta and rice, I'd get my carbs from vegetables and nuts, for example. And Tim Ferriss really explains it well with these three very basic rules. Don't eat anything that's white or can be white. Do not drink your calories and then have one day a week where you just go crazy, eat whatever you want, all right? That's really about they it. They like that part. The they part. like the go crazy part. <laughs> So firstly, I think one of the biggest mistakes I made with my old diet was that I ate two massive meals. So I'd skip breakfast, then I'd eat a huge meal at about 1 p.m. and another huge meal at about 6 p.m. So straight after eating, because my body had to digest so much food, I just wanted to go straight to sleep. I was so tired. And now I spread that same amount of food, the same amount of calories, over three meals, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which consequently helps boost my metabolism. Secondly, each meal consists of about one full plate, and that plate consists of about 60% green vegetables and 40% meat. Using coconut oil to cook the food, some spices, very little salt, but absolutely no sugar. It's also worth mentioning that I ate no fruit at all for the last 30 days too. I love fruit, I ate a lot of it with my previous diet, but for the sake of this experiment, I wanted no sugar, and fruit of course contains sugar, so I didn't consume any fruit. Thirdly, I drank three liters of water a day. Before starting this diet, I drink probably one liter of water a day and that really is awful, especially as I do quite a lot of exercise throughout the day and I'm living in a hot and humid country, so that one liter of water a day was nowhere near enough. So here's what I noticed. In the first seven days, 
I didn't notice much. I was actually quite surprised because my diet had significantly improved but I didn't really notice any real changes. There may have been some kind of small changes in energy levels, but in the first week, I'm not sure whether that was just a placebo because I was expecting those changes and actually looking out for them. I remember with day six and seven, my energy levels absolutely crashed. I mean, I was so exhausted. Literally, I couldn't move. And that's no exaggeration. I don't really know what that was, whether it was my body reacting badly, I don't know. But looking back over the last 30 days, that was the only kind of negative side effect I experienced. And that only lasted for one or two days. But then, and this is where the magic happened. In the second week, that's when I really started to feel the improvements in my everyday life. So I started to feel much more energized. I stopped experiencing the massive drops in energy in the afternoon. And I can't remember the last time that my energy levels have been this stable. So as a direct result, I'm more focused at work and my productivity has increased significantly. The second thing I noticed, the belly fat around my abs was pretty much gone in just 30 days, which I'm really surprised about. And my strength at the gym is just going up and up. So I'm losing weight and I'm getting stronger at the gym. So I've been experiencing all of these benefits and I'm kind of trying to rein in my excitement because I genuinely don't want to come across like I'm exaggerating the way that it's kind of changed my life because it genuinely has. But also I need to be realistic. It has only been 30 days. We're probably about 35 or 40 days. So we'll see if I continue to experience these changes and I'll keep you guys updated. A problem that I have come across is that it's difficult to pinpoint exactly which diet change benefited me the most because I made all of these changes to my diet on pretty much the same day. You see, I also completely changed my workout program in the gym. I started taking vitamin D and magnesium supplements every morning. And this is on top of the no sugar, no carbs. So was it the significant decrease in sugar in my diet that boosted my energy levels throughout the day? Or was it not eating carbs or drinking three liters of water? I really don't know. However, Dr. Eric Berg DC, who's one of the top ketogenic diet experts says that after just two weeks of giving up sugar, you could experience seven side effects. Loss of appetite to sugar, less hungry, less fatigue, fat loss, enhanced mood, skin looks better, and less joint stiffness. So within 30 days, I've noticed four of the seven changes. I've noticed a significant loss of appetite to sugar. I used to crave sugar after every meal, especially at nighttime, but these days I don't get those cravings anymore. I feel less hungry throughout the day, I feel less fatigue, and I've definitely noticed fat loss, especially around my abs. However, the last three side effects, enhanced mood, skin looks better, and less joint stiffness, I've not really noticed any changes. My mood is already pretty stable. I mean, I'm a pretty positive person anyway. My skin looks the same and no change in joint stiffness. But saying that though, those four side effects, so sugar cravings, feeling more full throughout the day, feeling more energized and the fat loss, I mean, those are game changers right there. Also, I do have to mention that I'm not recommending this diet. I kind of don't like calling it a diet because a diet kind of suggests that it's a short-term thing, that it's a temporary thing, but I genuinely plan on cutting out sugars and carbs in the long term simply because of the massive benefits I'm seeing from it so far. But like I said, I'm not recommending this diet to anyone. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. I'm just kind of reporting back the results that I've been seeing myself. Everyone's body is different and will obviously react differently. Although saying that, I think that I can safely say that if you do want to make some immediate changes with your diet, cutting out or at least significantly decreasing sugar from your diet and drinking two to three liters of water a day would be a really good start. So I might make another video like this in 90 days. I probably will, especially if I see any other changes or even negative side effects, which I haven't experienced any yet other than my food bill costing more because I can't fill up on cheap rice or bread like I used to. But if you are interested, I've made a video on how I incorporate this kind of new healthy diet and lifestyle into my morning and evening routines. Like I mentioned earlier, my productivity has just gone through the roof over the last few weeks. I can focus on my work so much better and I just get a lot more stuff done. So you can check out how I do it in my 6 a.m. morning routine video and my 6 p.m. evening routine video. And whichever video you choose, I'll see you over there.